Hi folks, this is Ted White, and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to zoom in to a specific area of the screen using CapCut PC. All right, let's get started here. So first things first, you want to choose the video that you want to perform the zoom on, okay? And then I imported the video, and now I'm going to add that video to the timeline here. So I added the track, and in the video, I'm going to find where I want to perform the first zoom at. So I want to zoom into the car keys here. Now, if you were to do a normal zoom, it just goes, it zooms to the center of your picture. We don't want that. The whole purpose of this video is to zoom in to whatever area you're desiring. So we're gonna go to these car keys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit a keyframe for the zoom. So we're gonna keep the position here from here to here so that it's not zoomed in. And then we want to keep the actual position of the video at the same location as well. So I'm gonna hit a keyframe for that. And then this is where I want to perform the zoom in. So I want to zoom into these keys right about here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the keyframe for zoom or the scale. We're going to zoom in first. We're going to find the keys. After zooming in, here they are. And then the keyframe automatically populates for the position because we moved from the center. We scrolled over to the keys here. So the position changed. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the video. Keys go up. We zoom in on the keys. It stays zoomed in. So what we're going to do here is we're going to keep it in this position for a little bit. Um, let's say to about here. And uh, if you look at these numbers, so the zoom's 294, the position's 2945 for the X, and 1788 for the Y axis. And it's the exact same here at our keyframes. So it's just going to stay in this position. Let's keep it in this position for a couple of seconds. All right. So doing how we do that is we put a keyframe for the zoom to keep it there, and we put a keyframe for the position to keep it there. And then what I'm wanting to do here is zoom out. So I'm going to put a keyframe for the zoom and I'm going to zoom out first. Okay, and we're going to go back to 100% here. All right, 100. And then we're going to drag the picture. So once it hits 100%, we're going to drag the picture so that it fits the frame here. We're back to normal. We zoomed out and the position is back to normal. So let's play this. And one thing I forgot to mention is that after dragging this position back to normal, so after dragging this from here or where it was originally back to normal, the keyframe automatically populates for the position. So the keyframe we chose initially for the zoom and then the keyframe automatically populated for the position once we uh, zoomed out and brought this back to meet the frame. So let's play this. We zoom in. We stay there. We zoom out. Now I'm going to bring the keys to the other side and we're going to pause this here because we're going to zoom in on this side just to make sure we all get it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the position from here to let's say about here. And how we do that is just hit the keyframe for the zoom and hit the keyframe for the position. So we're zoomed out and we're just going to stay zoomed out essentially. And now we're going to zoom in on this side. And I am just going to put the cursor right about here. I'm going to hit the keyframe for zoom. I'm going to zoom in first. Ugh, my eyes are closed. I'm looking pretty freaky. I'm going to zoom in to the keys. So I just scrolled. So I zoomed in and then I scrolled down to the keys. All right. 
one thing you don't want to do is this. So you don't want to expose, you don't want to go over the frame because that will show in the video and you just don't want that to happen. So you want to zoom in to this area, leave it there. And what we will do now is take a look at the video. So I zoomed in, I zoomed in initially and then I moved over, I moved the position over here. I did not go across the frame, move the position over here, and then the keyframe automatically populates for the position. So we're just going to zoom in to this key here without going across the border. Okay, let's play this. So zooms in on this side, zooms out, stays there for a while. I move the keys to the other side. We zoom into the keys on this side and it stays there. But what I want to do before the video ends is I want to zoom back out. So we'll keep it there for a couple of seconds. So we'll look at our positions here and they're the same. So 274 minus 2426, 1603. We're not going to change any of that. So we're just going to hit the keyframe for the zoom. We'll keep the zoom where it is and we'll keep the position where it is. And now we want to zoom out. So this is where we'll change the we'll change the zoom and we'll change the position. So we'll zoom back out to 100%. And then this is the important part. You drag this back so that it fits the frame. And then automatically once you drag it back, the position becomes zero, zero, and the keyframes populated for the position. So let's take a look at it. So zoom in on the left, zoom out, keys go to the right, zoom in, stay, zoom out, and we're good. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions or concern, leave them in the comments below, and I hope you have a nice day. Thanks a lot.